Are you one of those people that you kind of have a hunch or you know that there's a spe specific food or drink item that is your trigger? What does that mean? I don't know. You think you're doing good and you see it at the grocery store and you buy it and you eat it, you take it home, or do you even get it home? My hunch, you can think of a specific food or drink item. Well, I did about three years ago, and I'm going to tell that story today. Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Michael Loge, and I am here with you on Saturday and with John. First Saturday of the month, we are the Releasing Negative Emotion Guys, and that's what we do. And today's topic is about how the relationship between a specific food item and one of these emotions is causing that uh, that that obsessiveness, the um, the fanatic, the the, the, the drive, the triggers, got to have it, got to eat it, eat it till it's done, all of those reasons, because of this, an unprocessed emotion. John, good morning. Say hello to our friends. Hello, everyone. My name is John Inverarity, certified emotion code, uh, body and belief code practitioner, and helping people all over the world with various aches, pains, mental health concerns, and uh, help people with their, their food, craving, goals. We've done this a few times and there it definitely is a connection between, you know, the emotions or mental health and the food that we eat. So this is kind of a fun way to, to approach, uh, mm -hmm. you know, your diet, your food goals. Uh, if you're watching live, say hello. We always love to know who's joining us. Let us know where you're watching from and we're looking for a volunteer too. So, uh, pull up a seat. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at the list there. Is it popcorn or is it donuts or is it chocolate or is it cookie or is it beer? Is it wine? Is it tea? Is it milk and coffee? Listen, I don't have to build a list. I know you got one. Today, and uh, there's an app that I'm using on my phone to count down how many days I am completely off sugar. What does that mean? No white sugar, no candy, no cakes, no cookie, no ice cream, zero, zero triggers, zero interest. And look at me, really? Zero interest, cravings, triggers, and desires for sugar, and I am on day 478. It was a year in July. My blood sugar is leveled off. Everything's changed for me, and it all started with me thinking, you know what, i got to get rid of this mile-high lemon meringue pie craving that I have. You know you eat too much when you order one, and then you say it's for somebody else. When you lie to the person selling you the cheat, the, uh, the cake. And I thought, okay, well, you've got to get rid of it. So I did an emotion code session, John, and I used both charts, which is pretty. You know, we've got Dr. Brad's emotion code chart. Then I have another chart, the trauma chart. Mm. And mm -hmm. I, in that time, I said, okay. And I did an emotion code session on myself. We're going to explain that shortly. By the way, John, we're going to get you to cue someone up to join us and what they need to tell us. So I did it. I did an emotion code session and I'm taking notes and I wrote this down because I'm a note taker because why? I like to find patterns, right? Mm -hmm. So I got an emotion, got an emotion, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, okay. I don't think I want that anymore. And it worked. I never thought about it again. But of course, then there was something else. And I thought, you know what? I probably eat too many potato chips. So I did it specifically for potato chips. And guess what? I was getting the same emotions that I got for the pie. And I thought, there was a pattern. It would have, and, and, and this isn't always, but to give some context to our friends listening, there could be like seven emotions in my whole life that would cause it. Five of them were on this chart and two buggers on this one. So I get to see a pattern. These were always different though, always depending who it was and what the food was. So I saw a pattern that every food item is connected to an emotion. And if you collapse the emotion or delete it, which John and I are gonna do for a volunteer today, here's a magnet. If you delete the emotion, the trigger's gone. The, the file folder that says this emotion wants you to have ice cream. I've helped, I'm gonna give you the new number. I've helped 128 people. Here's the log that I do. 128 people remove sugar, interest, cravings, desires, almost by 100% for most people. So uh, before we get started, John, we're gonna tell a little bit more. I am gonna show them that here is uh, it's my sugar program. And how do I know what sugar items are for you? Well, that's pretty easy, you know why? Because I'm gonna show you, you think, well, Michael, you said that every, every item was connected to a feeling. So I've already done that for you. I've built a list of over 200 food items, so that, 
program includes almost every permutation, combination of any kind of sugar in it, on it, beside it, dipped in it, cooked with it. And when you look at the list of what I help you with, you say, oh, you didn't have my grandmother's chocolate chip cookies on the list. Well, you can add it. And I do this session by email. You don't even need to be present. I get the email. I look at you, anything you want to add to the list. I do your session. And then I follow up with you on day two, four, and 10. By day four, you're almost 100% off sugar. And that means cravings, triggers, and interest. So, and for those of you that are thinking, oh, sugar's not my problem. Oh, I've got your back. I've got your back. Because guess what? I also have the same thing for bread. Do you know how many kinds of bread? And the reason why I'm showing all kinds of bread, because the emotion for a chocolate chip cookie is different than emotion from ice cream. So the emotion for a bagel is different than French baguettes. And it's different from a, um, a muffins. And so guess what Michael Ogier has? He's got a list a mile long of bread. So you don't have to tell me. And pasta. Oh, thank you, John. It, it says bread, pasta, and pizza. And in, online, I explain that means anything made with white flour. Huh. So if you like your chickpea um, or something, you know, some kind of uh, hummus or chickpea, or what I'm thinking of, pasta or something, you'll still want it. This is white wheat and made for pizza, bread, and pasta. Pizza. It's Mac and cheese. Program. I have less program. I have less people on this one. You know, they're pretty attached to their bread. But if you think yeah. bread is one of your trigger foods. So today, and because my goal today was to uh, let you know that Everything is connected to an emotion, and that's why there's the, the, the group of breads, and I've built the list for you. But today, we want to hear from you, and John's going to do a session, uh, and we're going to identify what, uh, I think we'll both do one we have time. We're going to identify what unprocessed emotion, but we're going to, uh, John, uh, see if we have a volunteer as we start to talk about the process there. Yeah, Patty Del Vecchio, Vecchio uh, says, yes, chips, wine, combo. So it's, we, I have seen, we've probably both seen this, this combo where you just, you have one and then you have the other, it's both. It's like yeah. the, the coffee cigarette combo. It's the yeah. chips, it's the wine, it's the pizza, it's the beer, it's this and it's that, right? Like it's very common. Um, and I would so, call that a trigger. You know, that's yeah, yeah, the trigger there's is every time I have yeah. one wine, yeah, I'm, I'm triggered, like a little switch that says, oh, got to have chips. And of course, John, the trigger is collapsible. Yeah, yeah. There's an emotion that um, Patty says, yeah, I was a student of Michael's. Yeah, so Patty's uh, definitely familiar. You know, last month we did, uh, we talked about alcohol, you know, wine, beer, whatever you, uh, we had, we have an approach to it. And we talked yeah. about that. So if, if that's you, that interests you, you want to reduce the, the cravings, check out 273. Yeah, 273. And yeah, it was kind of, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, and um, the reason why that's separate is because the, the triggers are different than pizza triggers, right? The wine mm. triggers, you know, it's family and seasons and reasons and on the way home from work and with buddies and out for a drink. Pizza is not like that, yeah. even though we crave pizza. So the alcohol, uh, getting off alcohol and beer and smoking and stuff, that we treat that separately because there's so many triggers to collapse. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be super freaking easy. John, let's go through and say hello, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll get started. So. Yes, our friend, yeah. loyal friend Natasha, call up Samuel is with us. Hello there. Hello there. Yash is saying good morning. Hello, Yash. Hello there. Yeah. And uh, uh, Paul is in from the UK today. Patty Di Vecchio sounds um, Del sounds French and Vecchio sounds Italian. So uh, she's on now. Okay, very good. Thank you, Patty, for joining us. Uh, let's see who else. Okay, so if you're listening again and you can think of a food or drink item, let John and I know. We will do the session. John, why don't you kill yourself up? I'm going to put Patty is um, there. We yeah, go. put that chips wine in there. And Patty, is that red wine, white wine, or is it all wine? Um, Rosé, bubbly. Yeah. Just just so we can hone in on that. Um, or maybe it doesn't matter. Chips. You know what? What kind of chips, too? Is that barbecue? Is that salt and vinegar? White that, wine, yeah. Is that Doritos nacho? Yeah. I want to know more about this combo. Or Hawkins <laughs> cheesies. I help my friend Helena, it's Canadian, so our American friends won't know what they are, but I helped her get off Hawkins cheesies. 
John, let's tell our friends that are watching you and think, what are these guys going to do? Do we have to meet them? No, it's all done live here. You don't even have to be coming on the screen. You just let us know mm -hmm. in the chat. Yeah. So John and I have a unique ability. We're not alone in the world, but we have a unique ability. And our, our unique ability is to become your proxy. And proxy means we can do this for you. And the reason we can do this for you, because our unique ability is that we can connect with your subconscious mind, just like we were going to connect with your Wi-Fi. And once we get connected, we are in the business of asking lots of questions. It's like you gave us your file folders. And you said, here's all the file folders in my subconscious. You're looking for, you know, your, your subconscious mind. Everything you've done is file, file, file. And you say, Michael, can you go through my file folders, please? And can you find the reason why I'm wanting to have cattle regular potato chips? So John and I have a unique ability. We're going to be using muscle testing. John, show them what that means. Yeah, so muscle testing. I use uh, my fingers, hands to muscle test. So that is you know, a form of applied kinesiology. So I loop uh, these fingers and I take these fingers, go through the loop. And then I'm asking a yes or no based question. So, you know, it's not open-ended, like what's my favorite color? It has to be, is there, you know, a trapped emotion on this chart associated with That's this funny. engraving? A lot of yes and no's. He does it really fast. Yes or no. Yeah. Yes, uh, it stays together. So it's a strong muscle, it means yes. And then if it comes apart, it's a no. Let it go if it's a no. That's my little sing. That's my little song in my head. Mm -hmm. Let it go if it's a no. Good. So John and I are going to connect with somebody's subconscious mind today. Ask it to get all the file folders of every time that I ever had. In this case, it'll be uh, John will language it differently. We would say, I want to go to the line. Have I had 1,000 potato chips? Guess what? There's 1,000 file calls. I had 1,000 potato chips. And then our question is to find out which emotion caused it. First, we would say, is it caused by an emotion? Yes. So it's like a video game. Okay, it's caused by emotion, John. Let's find out. Is it on this chart? Oh, that's a yes. Oh, and then we use muscle testing, find it. And what we're looking for is an unprocessed emotion in that file folder that's connected to every time you want to have potato chips. Yeah. And John, all the willpower and wish power and therapy and crying will not get rid of this trigger emotion except for, say it when you see it. So we take a magnet it goes over the governing meridian, which starts here. And we, it just goes over like that. So we do a lot of this. Okay. And the uh, magnet amplifies my intention to clear out the trapped emotion. So the whole process takes that little ball of energy from deep, deep, deep down uh, within you, deep in the subconscious, brings it to the surface, and then the magnet just lets it go. Just And that is the only thing that can dissipate this. Yeah. Sometimes clients feel it. Say, Ooh, I felt that was like a little tingle. But yeah. what happens is, and you know, we're going to do a quick little law of attraction training lesson here. What happens is, is that your vibration is different. You know, before the session, you know, you were sending a vibration, and then we removed negative vibration. Here's you, here's your vibrational bubble, everybody. And inside this vibrational bubble was negative vibration. So when I pull up the negative vibration, the balance of your vibration is different. Here's your vibrational meter reader. Before the session, you might have been on 80. And what was causing you not to be 100? What dilutes positive vibration, negative vibration? So John and I remove the negative vibration that's diluting the overall balance of your vibration. And when and the best way to have, the only way to have a higher vibration is to get rid of the lower ones. It's a math equation. Let's delete the reason that's diluting or contaminating the overall vibration. And then you're on a brand new vibe. Just from doing the work with us, you're on a brand new vibe. And yep. even without we're questioning it or ordering it, guess what? Your life changes. Why? John, say it when you see it. Change your vibe, change your results. That's right. Just yep. changing your vibe. Now you're submitting a new vibe. Now you're placing a new order. Maybe you're maybe John and I are helping you with business and you had some negative vibes or heart walls with customers and clients. And guess what? They were responding to it. And John and I came in clean, 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 and now you got a new vibe. Now you got new results. The only way to get a different result is to have a different vibration. And you can change some of your vibrations with positive thoughts. And all the stuff I've been teaching my whole life with Law of Attraction, I've been teaching people how to reset their vibe with those areas. But the best news all is that in addition to having positive thoughts and looking forward and goals, 
John and I can fast track the resetting of your vibration by deleting the negative vibrations that's causing it. John, I think it's time for yeah. demo session, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to recap, this works well for you know reducing the you know the wants and needs, cravings for food. Uh, like Michael said, uh, relationships with um, in business, with people, money, abundance. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. So Patty, let's connect up to Patty. <clears throat> so with intention, tune in, connect up here. Patty, act as a proxy, so muscle testing here. So proxy, so that distance connection. And I'm gonna muscle test uh, Patty subconscious. So we are connected here, Patty. Patty Del Vicio. Yeah, so we are connected. I'll try and keep my hands up here. <clears throat> okay, so we've got Chardonnay and Kettle regular potato chips, the combo cravings, severity of this craving. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Hey, so good I was ready. It's, I was waiting. It's like we've done this before. Yeah, I'm not new. Okay, so the severity, is it at least a one? We're just kind of getting the baseline here. Is it a zero? Oh, no, is it a 10? Is it a 10? I got close to 10. So it's at least a nine. 9.8. That's up there. So there's an attractive emotion associated with this want, need, desire, must have the Chardonnay and kettle, kettle chips. There is attractive emotion associated with this. Yeah, is this trapped emotion? You know, at least ten years. So this craving is or trapped emotion there has been for at least ten years. So let's get to it. Is this trapped emotion? We can identify and clear, reduce, eliminate this want, need, desire, must have this chips and wine combo. Is this trapped emotion? Be odd. Is it in column A? No. So it's in column B. Odd row. Is it be odd? Odd row. No. So it's in B. Even row. Even row, so that's uh, two, four, or six. Two, is it four? Is it six? It's four. So it's B4. So this is the first one, is that depression? No. Okay. So is it frustration? No. So is it indecisive? I got a yes to that. Let's just check the other two. Is it panic? No. Is it taken for granted? No. So it's an indecisiveness, trapped emotion. Yeah, you know, 10 or more years ago. Yeah, anything else we need to know about this? No. Clear indecisiveness. And it doesn't have to make sense either to uh, Patty. It's like, what is that? You know, does, sometimes it makes sense. And sometimes it's like, I don't know what the connection is, but who cares? Hashtag, we're deleting it. Yeah, it's the subconscious, so who knows? And you know the emotions they can be like, absorbed from other people it's kind of like you're, you take that on from other people your reaction from other people so it might not even be your own but indecisiveness that's you know a fairly common one okay so is there another trapped emotion here patty we can identify in clear to reduce eliminate this want need desire must have this wine white wine chardonnay the kettle chips yeah we just want to turn down that craving maybe even eliminate get it to a zero so is there another trapped emotion? Is it A or B? Is it A odd, A even? So it's A odd. So that means it's either A1, A3, or five. So we got A3. First one, is that crying? Is it crying? No, is it discouragement? No, so is it rejection? Or is it sadness, sorrow? So it's sadness, yeah. Was that within the last 10 years? No, need to know more. No. Okay, let's clear that. Clearing sadness. Okay, that's released. Good. Yes, that is released. Is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. Call me. Be odd. Even. Three or five. So we got B3. So is it first, second, third, fourth, or fifth? So it's uh, B3 and the emotion is self-abuse. So that's, we like that one. That's the negative self-talk. We like to clear that, release self-abuse, clear that self-abuse. So we've cleared three. We're gonna check the severity now. Is it uh, still nine or above? This want new desires that severity nine or above? No. 
is the severity of this, this craving, 8766. So we got a little bit more work to do. So there's another trapped emotion. Yeah. Anything? Is there a heart wall? Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's a heart wall emotion. So you've seen heart wall emotions implicated with, you know, everything and anything, any concern. Yeah. We've done lots of shows on, you know, heart wall, the impact it's having. And I just thought I'd ask. And what do you know? We got a yes. So heart wall emotion, A, B odd, B odd. Maybe you had uh, chips and even uh, chips and wine after you broke, someone broke your heart. <laughs> and now that's the connection. But John's yeah, going to yeah, so it's heart wall emotion is unworthy. So releasing unworthy. Always like to clear those unworthy worthless ones as well. Those are good ones. That's cleared. Is there another heart wall emotion here, Patty? Yes. Does that column A or B odd? So it is in, I'm asking in my head. Uh, so it's in B4. Panic. Need to know more about panic. Not a very nice feeling to have that panic kind of rattling around. Release that panic. It's release. Patty, is there another heart wall emotion? Is there a heart wall emotion? No, is there another trapped emotion? No. Let's check the severity there. The severity of this, you know, this want, need, desire, must have, this chips, kettle chips, uh, white, uh, Chardonnay wine combo. The severity of this is at least a five no so fourth is it a four is it a three out of a ten this triggering this craving three two is it a two is it a zero it's a t it's a three out of a ten so the trapped emotion no anything very there's different types of trapped emotion so let's go through them absorb no shared no inherited no prenatal or preconception no heart wall any variations of that no, so we're doing some detective work here. Yeah. Something there's imbalancing. The one you haven't said yet. Oh, how about the trauma chart? The trauma chart, yes. Uh, by the way, practitioners, um, um, my, my practice is I use the emotion code chart and the trauma to see how they're together. So when I'm doing a search, um, uh, it's like I checked off this box and this box. I said, when I'm doing a search, tell me from both charts. So this is inside Dr. Brad's school. And it's called the trauma chart, and it's pretty critical to help you get great results. So we're into the trauma. We are into uh, B5 overburdened. Yeah, overburdened. Whew, too much going on. Give me a chip and a Chardonnay already. <laughs> give, me, give me the combo. Yeah, that's cleared. Yeah, something else on this trauma chart. So say with this want, need, desire, must have, you know, the wine chip combo. Yeah. So is it A? There's B or C, so it's C odd, C odd, no. C4 is jealousy, is it indecision, coveting, is it jealousy? It's jealousy, yeah, clear jealousy. That's clear, yeah. Is there something else on this trauma chart? No, severity, we're at a three, is it still a three, two, one? Is it a one or higher? Okay, so the severity is a zero. I got a zero on that. A little digging there. Yeah, I know I was looking for the fanatic obsession too, but it didn't come up. No, that's great. You know, and here's, you know, and when people hire us, we, we do more than a quick session. And the second session, you know, our first question is, hey, tell me about your Chardonnay and chips. And you might say, you know what? It's got down to a two. Well, that's good for what we did. So the second session, we usually get rid of it, well, you know, because we there's a tune-up that happens, and we can find something that didn't show up. So the goal is always zero, and the second session we tune up things from the first session, and then we can add some new stuff. And That's right too. Going this next month, hopefully, and yeah. we can update or before then, so we can maybe post it in the comments. Good work, John. You uh, were able to identify a number of emotion. You know, we do some things by email, and this is why, as you can hear. You know, they take time and um, and it, it, you're just sometimes hearing numbers and this number and this number and this number. But imagine all the different food items and all the different emotions. Mm -hmm. If you're stimulated in any way today and you would like to delete interest triggers, desires on sugar or on any uh, bread items, uh, go ahead, click on the link that I put there and uh, you can learn more about the program. It's done by email. It's one hundred forty nine dollars. You'll save that just in sugar treats in the first couple of weeks. 
and uh, you will also improve your health. So, John. Hey, welcome, Patty. Not today. Yeah. John, for our friends that never had a meeting before and thinking, what does that happen? What do I do? And what does that work? Uh, I'm going to put John's website up on the screen. John, go ahead and tell our friends about if it's their first appointment, what does it all look like? Go ahead, please. Yeah, absolutely. So while well, we have online scheduling, I'm at aliveandpeer.com, or releasingnegativeemotions.com as well. And so you can find the online calendar, find a date, time that works for you. Uh, single sessions, and we have bundles of sessions as well. I recommend a bundle of sessions to start. That way we do our due diligence, have that follow-up session, clean things up in that second, third session. And uh, we can have a session over Zoom, so we'll send you a link or phone as well. You give us a call, we do it over the phone. And if you know the time zone doesn't work up or you just you know don't wanna jump on a call, um, got a busy life, we get it. Uh, you can just, we do an email session or like an offline session. You send us our, your list of concerns. We will just work on you and you know send you the report let you know how things go and that's you know popular for people in different time zones or even kids um you know your kids we've helped a lot of kids you know we don't expect them to sit on a video although you know lately i have been working with a lot of kids on video yeah. and I, or on I the phone too. you know so, you are yeah. really interested not just kids but like teenagers. yeah teens yeah I've had a lot of teenagers lately just you know super interested in this um jumping on the video call. So, um, you know, that works as well. Mm -hmm. So, Well, the, um, the other thing I want to add to John, it's like when, you know, the, the more prep work people come to us, the, you know, this is very different than what some of you might have had to done before, where you say you have to do the intake form where they want to know the history of, uh, from 1912 and it goes on and on and on. I'm just going to give you a quick little sample. This is my note style taking when I have a client. This is all I need. They just gave me these items. The red items is me writing down updates and uh, and so on, the other notes. So th this is your entire file for me. There's no story, there's no background. And again, John and I work on the symptom. Some people say, I have arthritis. That doesn't tell us anything. If you say, my wrist hurt, we can help, <laughs> right? So go right to the symptom. What is the problem? What is the symptom? And uh, yeah, there were seven things on this list. I'm going to tell you what it was. Uh, this one was, the first thing was unable to plan or do anything in the future. Couldn't couldn't mm -hmm. even book something for next week. The next one, stomach and bowel issues. Okay. Completely different than the first thing. Mm -hmm. first thing right eye is blurry. Okay, that's different. Next one, sleeping. Can't get to sleep. And the last one is uh, easily crying. Now they're all, none, none of them are related except they all have a common denominator and it was all caused by this. And I got them all to zero. The crying, the sleeping went well. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, very very yeah. fast, efficient, effective. That's what we like to That's call right. ourselves. Mm -hmm. now, you might be one of those people that say, oh, you know what I just, oh, by the way, if you're listening on uh, YouTube, we'd love to have you just subscribe or like the video. I don't really encourage people to do that or haven't, but I've been watching other people's videos on YouTube. I'm, I have a couple of channels I like, and, and as soon as they say hit the like button, I'm hitting the like button. So I thought, well, Michael Loche, you can do that too. I'm looking for something else. Now, every Friday, that well, we're here one Saturday a month, the Friday before, we send an email to our database, which is you, said, hey, we uh, we have an episode tomorrow. Uh, and then on Saturday morning, I think it happens like a quarter after eight, my time, we send them and said, hey, just a reminder, we're live in 45 minutes at the top of the hour. And uh, to be able to volunteer, obviously, you need to be here. If you go to, it's going to show you on the screen, michaellozier.com forward slash live, everything about John and I is there our website pages, our menus that we help people with, our podcast channel, the link to all 273 episodes, you can have a Michael and John marathon and there's lots to see. And again, mm -hmm. if you're a code practitioner, uh, join us every um, every Saturday, uh, every month and uh, get some to, you know, some of you might have didn't even know about this chart today and it might change your practice to have it. John, thanks for hanging out with us today. And uh, we did a good job with everybody. Let's say goodbye. Thanks for joining us, everyone. See you later. See you next time.